Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut, and welcome back to the Baseball Hut 2. I hope you like this video and subscribe. So we're going to talk about the Braves. You know the Braves lost last night? Ah. <laughs> Braves didn't show up again for postseason, but we're going to we're gonna roast the Braves. But we don't do roast here, that's for amateurs. That's amateur hour. This is a bonfire. And anything goes in a bonfire. Anything and everybody and whatever comes to my mind will happen. <clears throat> if, you're fr if you're fans of certain YouTube channels, you will not like this kind of video. You'll get angry, but it's all in good fun. <clears throat> it's all in good fun. No, really. But we're going to have a lot of fun in this video. But before we get into that, did you know the Braves lost? They lost, folks. Um... I guess they couldn't do the whistling uh, during the games in Philadelphia. It was so loud down there, they just couldn't do that whistling. You know, not one media member, and we'll talk about the media in this. I'm going to have a whole bunch of videos on the on the Braves and, and what the hell happened down there. I mean, basically, the Braves exposed themselves in a, in a way that it, it sort of opens our eyes to what how they really are as a, as a group. Uh, the media basically embarrassed themselves with this whole thing. Uh, the media that covers the Braves, they are, they are embarrassing. The entire uh, Atlanta uh, media core, they are a joke. And I'm going to get into them in a bunch of videos. We're going to, of course, talk about Alana Rizzo in a future video. She's a joke, too. <laughs> you know, I mean, really I'm very embarrassing. She embarrassed herself. But the Braves. These are embarrassing themselves. Uh, the the Phillies out homered them in the last two games. They had nine home runs against the Braves. It's funny, you know, the Mets beat the hell out of the Braves last year in the first 12 games of last season. And for some reason, the Braves just, you know, something happened. I don't I don't know. We'll, we'll get into that. But uh, I also would mention this before I forget. The Phillies during their little celebration of winning, you know, being the Braves, Said the Mets should F themselves too. Why are the Mets on their minds? Because they know the Mets have beaten the hell out of them for the last 10 years and beat the hell out of them last year. Now let's take us back to May of this year. I started doing a, a series of Mets rant videos complaining about how poorly the Mets have been playing. And I was probably the first YouTuber to really recognize all the problems here uh, while other YouTubers were sort of filling away uh, scratching their heads, trying to figure out what was going on. I was uh, going after them. It's pretty good. And the only fan base that was coming into my channel, on the big channel, on my case with the Braves fans, uh, bringing up the fact that, uh, you know, Pete Alonso had this comment about uh, throw another one <clears throat> when he hit a home run. And then the next day, the, the Braves knocked him out, basically for the whole month of, the, of June. And pretty much for the whole season, really. That's why his average was so low, amongst many reasons. But if the Braves fans had not come to this channel, or come to my other channel, I would not be doing this video right now. I do a video talking about the stuff with their shortstop, Orlando Arcia. But I wouldn't be going after the Braves and their fans like I am going to do here. So just keep that in mind. Where This, this is spite work, folks. <clears throat> and I'll say it. Everybody's thinking it. But when you come after me... And say there's something wrong with me for talking about the Mets on my channel and and goofing on me and belittling me, well then you're gonna get the fangs. I would mention this is not Warty. I am not Warty. I'm not pretending to be in the media. I am not in the media. I am not that uh, Mets talk with Rob. I am not him either. So when you come after me. I am in New York, and I will come after you with everything I have. And and I will block your ass if you come. Now, this video, the comments will come up. Anyone that's a Mets fan that's a supporter of this channel or, or a supporter of the other channel, you will see the toxicity of the Braves fans coming in here uh, saying nasty things, that I'm jealous and all this other stuff. But if you hadn't come here in the first place looking for trouble, don't ask for trouble. I mean, don't complain that trouble has found you. <clears throat> and that's that's what you're gonna get. But uh that's kind of where I'm standing here. Now I'm just gonna hammer the Braves and their fans for the next few days. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. There's no games on until Sunday. 
So we got plenty of time to make fun of the Braves. It's interesting that the Braves out homered the Dodgers for the most home runs in the National League or in Major League Baseball by 60. How did they do that? Well, you know, whistling and bang. I wonder if they did the trash cans. I wonder if they were doing the buzzer like Jose Altuve was doing the buzzer that one year. 2017, he had a home run postseason and he had to keep his shirt on because they wanted to rip the shirt off because he was all like wired up. <clears throat> I wonder if he was wired up during uh, one of these Braves players are wired up. And been wired up for like the last two years. Uh, how does Matt Olson, who's been a very good player, how did he out homer himself by 20 home runs from last year to this year? How does he go from 34 home runs last year to, six, to 54 home runs this year, breaking the Atlanta Braves all time record? Henry Aaron never hit that many home runs in Atlanta. <clears throat> you know, Chipper Jones who is another jerk-off. We'll get into jack a jack-off in a moment. But he's a jerk. I would mention this about uh, Chipper Jones. I said this in other videos. When Chipper Jones named his kid after Shea, I took that as an insult. And Met fans should take that as an insult. That is not that is not an homage in any way, shape, manner, or form. So so anyone thinking that that's a, that's a compliment, that, that's nonsense. That's, that's bullcrap. Uh... But Matt Olson hit 20 more home runs than he did last year. The Braves hit 60 more home runs than the next team. How did they do that? Well, like I said, we know how they did that. I've been very suspicious since last year. Uh, really, just over the play of the, the Braves the last few years. In 2021, the Mets were in first place for most of the season. Uh, and, of course, in the first half. And the Braves got off to just a horrendous start in 21. And the Mets um, had two major injuries to their team. They, Jacob DeGrom, they lost before the All-Star break because he was having issues with the elbow. And that's when the story came out that he had an issue, uh, that he had a torn uh, elbow, torn ligament in his elbow. And that came from Sandy Alderson. Didn't pitch the rest of the season. Then they come back after the All-Star break. And um, Francisco Lindor pulled, a, I guess, a, a, an oblique. And he was out for six weeks. So when you lose two key players within the course of a week, course of three or four days, three or four games, it kills you. So they didn't. They they basically sort of just sort of sunk in the second half. And offensively, this is a team that's been struggling offensively the last few years, trying to find another hitter in this lineup to to carry them a little bit. But that's kind of what happened. Twenty one, and the Braves blew past them. Won the division, won the World Series. Give them credit. They won 88 games, though. They need 88 games to win that division. Last year, again, they got off to a slow, a horribly slow start. That's had a, a 10-game lead or whatever it was, 11-game lead, 12-game lead. And the Braves had a clubhouse meeting with that with that Brian Snicker. And, and reason, people always talk about how great Brian Snicker is. And Brian Snicker was so great as a manager. Why in his late 60s he's managing the Braves? Why didn't he get hired when he was in his 40s and 50s when he was uh, in the bushes in Atlanta? You'd think they would have somebody would have hired him back then. Oh. He was hired for one reason. It's because he was cheap. The Braves are a very cheap organization. That's why they underpay their players all the time. Um, now, this I come across very... This is very dry humor if you're not used to this humor. But some of this is very serious. I take this. I take winning very seriously. To be honest with you. Uh, so the Mets had ten, uh, over ten game lead last year. Now the Braves never passed the Mets in, in terms of their record, based on a new technicality. They tied the Mets in, in terms of record, and not only that. The first twelve games, the Mets won eight and four against the Braves, and they were dest absolutely destroying their Braves pitching staff. Absolutely destroying that pitching staff. The second half comes, the last seven games, all of them in Atlanta, keep that in mind. The Mets played a five-game series against the Braves, I guess in July. The Mets took four out of five games against the Braves. When that series was done, I think a lot of fans, including myself, figured that was the end of the Braves. But then the Mets went down to Atlanta and they lost six out of seven including that crucial three-game series against them in October. What was different? 
I saw a video of in the third game. I should have kept it. I should have saved it. Of Ronald Acuna Jr. relaying signs to the hitter at the plate. You saw it, it was as open as it could be. Obvious as, as it could be. And but but the one thing I've learned now, seeing how uh, under the skin the Philadelphia Phillies fans got to the Braves, they're soft. Underneath all this nonsense, they are very soft and they can be beat. You can get under their skin. The Mets are going to have to find a way to, to, to add more uh, personality into this team, more toughness into this team, which I talked about uh, the past few years. They have to find a way to do that. Now, the Braves, from June on last year, played 800 baseball. The 98 Yankees never played 800 baseball during any stretch for that long of a period of time. The 86 Mets never played for four months 800 baseball. How did they do that? No one ever asks these questions. The Atlanta media doesn't. We know the, the, the announcers down there don't. They're all shills. I have videos here and, and, and articles here talking about how bad, uh, how, how they sort of complaining and acting like they're spokesmen for the team. And that's what the Braves uh, uh, media is down there. Anyone that covers the Braves, they are spokesmen for the Braves and for their team. I'll give you an example of somebody uh, that has been on this channel, <clears throat> on the other channel, on the baseball hut, the big channel. Tyler Redman, who's another YouTuber, he's a Braves YouTuber. He did a video the other day. Basically, the reason the way the the, the reason that the Braves have played so poorly was because of rust. No rust with the Astros, Tyler. None. Now I'm complaining about him for a very simple reason, folks. You know, follow me on Twitter because I was bringing up the fact, and I wasn't the first to bring this up in, in any kind of like context. I was the second. Evan Roberts of WFN said that there's something funny going on with the Braves, that they're hitting all these home runs. I brought it up in a video. You know, follow me on Twitter. So for a YouTuber that is a shill for the Braves, wants to be their friend, wants to be in the media, wants to get all the great interviews, he wants to get Dale Murphy on his channel and talking to Dale Murphy, he's got to kiss their ass, I guess, I suppose. You're not going to get this on Ty on Tyler's channel. You're not going to get this on Tyler's channel. Honesty, you're not going to get this on Wardy's channel. Any kind of honesty in terms of the Mets. I will rip the Mets. Nobody will rip the Mets more than I will. And rip ownership and, and front office. <clears throat> yeah. But you have the Braves now. You have uh, Matt Olson. It's 20 more home runs than he did last year. Uh, you had 10 guys on that team with 10 home runs or more. You had five guys with 90 RBIs or more. You had Marcelo Zuna. <clears throat> and the media doesn't complain about the fact that the guy was in trouble because he strangled his wife. Didn't Was arrested, but didn't get charged with anything. Baseball uh, suspended him. And they cheer him. The Brave fan, oh, he's great. He drove in 100 runs. Hit 40 home runs. This is a guy that was dead in the water. <clears throat> Another guy... Uh, Production-wise, in April and May, was dead in the water, and he hit 40 home runs. How did he do that? Same reason Matt Olson did that. <clears throat> I was uh, I heard that uh, after this whole thing about uh, Orlando Arcia saying that Atta Boy uh, Harper, the thing about Arcia, which I thought was kind of amusing, about him uh, in the clubhouse saying this as the media was going in there to talk to the team, he said it in English. <laughs> Meanwhile, when they talked to Arcee the next day about the comment, he needed an interpreter. This asshole understands and speaks English properly. He knows what he said. He knows what's being said to him. You know, I mean, how stupid is that? Then you have guys like Travis Darno. If you're a Met fan, we know Travis. I was going through his numbers. I was going through his numbers. His numbers are not much better than they were with the Mets. And then he's saying that the Mets, uh, that the, uh, the the Braves clubhouse is a is a, a sacred, it's a sanctuary. Hey Travis, you were in the same clubhouse when they were putting sexual devices in uh, a Kevin Ploiecki's uh, locker in 2017. So get the hell out of here, Travis. I'll tell you, the, the media. And the Braves, the Braves going around crying about this whole thing about the fact that that happened. It's just amazingly funny. And the Braves media, 
basically shooting for the Braves, defending the Braves' behavior during all this. And during the game, folks, during the game, game four against the Phillies, game four against the Phillies, you had Ronald Acuna Jr. when Austin Riley had a home run to put them up in front. The only lead they had in the game, by the way, telling the fans to zip their lips. That is not professional, Ronald. Then later on in the game, uh, RC was getting very animated in the dugout. I guess he was talking to his teammates and stuff. And the fans were riding him. And he was doing this. You see, I, that's the, the thumbnail. You see the thumbnail. I mean, it tells you how immature Arcia is as a player and how he, he's brought this upon himself and upon the Braves, uh, and they deserve it. Uh, this is what Matt Olson said about uh, what was said about Arcia saying, out of boy Harper, uh, comment much. I He wasn't going to comment much on gossip in the clubhouse. That's not gossip in the clubhouse, asshole. This was, this was spoken in front of the media. When the media goes into a clubhouse, you're in the workspace, you're in the work area. You're working with the public. You don't say stupid shit like this. And the biggest thing is that, well, Harper wasn't supposed to hear it. What well, shouldn't have been said around the media. I mean, they've all been going after this, this podcast, this blogger. Uh, and this this is the thing that R.C. says, he wasn't supposed to hear it. Well, you, you shouldn't have said it. And you act like a fool in the club and the dugout. Um... Uh, so, you know, I think it's funny. I think this whole thing is very funny because now you're seeing the sort of lack of professionalism from the Braves, which you, we didn't really see too much of. Now, I would uh, credit Brian Snicker. He did say after the game that the, the rest had nothing to do while they played poorly. He credited the, the, the Phillies with, with uh, them playing poorly. That the Phillies came out and, and went after them pretty good. They beat them in every area. And he's absolutely right. Um... Now we have um, the fans who are going to come in here. They're going to leave nasty comments. That's fine. Uh, I will deem who should be sent off to the Phantom Zone, who will not be sent off to the Phantom Zone. But you'll see how toxic they are. Um, they get very personal. I didn't think they'd be. They're very comic book-like in that way. It's very strange. Uh, but again, we have the Braves now having lost again. And postseason, uh, and now we're seeing this sort of real unprofessionalism in terms of Arcia, in terms of Acuna, and and obviously them crying about it, and the media crying about. It. I told you I'm going to have a videos on on Alana on Alana <laughs> on Alana Rizzo because she's a disgrace. She works for MLB, and she's saying that the clubhouse is a sacred place. Has she ever been in a clubhouse? I don't think she has. And uh, we're going to really go after the media here. Um, now, if you're a Met fan, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love doing this kind of stuff. I mean, really, this is this is I I live for this stuff. Um, I wonder what the system is that the Braves use that they're able to figure out what pitches are being uh, thrown to them. Um, I mean, that that's the only thing I can I can sort of have to ask. What what is it? A whistle? Is is Banging of the trash cans like the Astros were doing. Is there a buzzer system? Now people are going to say the 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 perfect Braves. They're not going to do this kind of stuff. This is stuff that's been going on in baseball for over 150 years. Stealing signs. This is nothing new. What's new is that uh, that Manfred, the, the general, the uh, the commissioner of baseball, did not. And the hot means did not suspend anybody, any of the players, and did not suspend any. Uh, buddy that was involved in this. Nobody was suspended, and they should have been. A lot of these players should have been suspended based on the fact that they uh, were doing this garbage. Um, now, we're going to continue to make fun of the Braves, going to continue to make fun of the scumbag fans, the most toxic fans in baseball. Attaboy. Attaboy, Harper. That'll be the, the mantra here uh, going forward. And I would mention, why would you piss, piss off Bryce Harper? <clears> has <throat> been one of the best players in baseball in the last 10 years. And is a better player than, than Acuna is on the field. He was a very intense guy. Why would you piss him off? And that tells you, he stared the Braves down and the Braves back down. So if you're a Mets fan, that's how you got to deal with it. You have, the Mets have to bring in some guys that are going to stare down the Braves and match them uh, pitch for pitch 
at bats who at bat. Don't let them get away with this garbage about stealing signs and all. They've been. St I'm gonna say it right now again. The Braves have been stealing signs for two years. That's how they came back in that race last year. But they couldn't do this in Philadelphia because it was too damn noisy for them to relay signals. So it must be a verbal thing. Or, or And here's the thing about noise. When there's a lot of noise, you can feel that vibration in your body. So if they were getting like buzzers that are like taped to their leg or taped to their, uh, their chest, they can't feel it. Because the vibration from the fans and the noise is probably so strong they couldn't feel it. That's what they were complaining about. That that's what the Bra and the Braves were very intimidated. I'm shocked by how intimidated this this group has got, you know. And it's interesting. I was surprised that the that the Braves actually sold out the uh, Truce Park. I didn't think they were going to fill it up because they're known for for not showing up for playoff games. I actually did that. I'm shocked, you know. So who, who did I who did I miss? Let's see. I went after I went after I went after Wardy. Went after Arcia. Uh, the Ron and and thing about Ron Acuna Jr. What's up with the yellow? What do you think he's like a bird? He's not you know an assessment. You know an made it look cool. Wearing yellow for like the last seven years in baseball. I mean, really, when he go when he go play for the Pirates, he'd probably go on overload if he played for the Pirates with all that yellow. My goodness, that really that really goes good with the with the blue and the the red that they that they wear down there. That that kind of clashes, you know. And you know, I guess that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. Let's say I went after. Let's say I went after Wardy. Went after Rob. Went after uh, Ty, Tyler uh, Redman. So who else did I not goof on? Uh, well, we'll have to see. There's plenty of time. There's plenty of time. But I give you some fact-based things here too. You know, again, uh, the Phillies. Phillies better win because they're next. I would apologize if you come and do here. And you know me from the comic book side. If you're a big fan of Ethan Van Skyver, I'm sorry that he keeps talking about the Phillies. It is my fault, and my fault alone, because they decided to do baseball on this platform. Then he got all obsessed talking about the Phillies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my fault. And if you are subscribed to his channel... And you saw these videos of, of him screaming at Peter Alonso and Francisco Lindor. It's all my fault. He's obsessed with the Mets. And obviously he must be fl uh, freaking out about the Braves being good. I mean about the, the Phillies being good. Probably wasn't expecting that. I don't think he was expecting my baseball club to do so well back when. But uh, I'm sorry. I apologize to them. Uh, some of them have been following me for a long time. They come here from time to time. <laughs> but your host bids you adieu. I will be back in a future video making fun of the Braves some more as we hammer them into oblivion as they are now with us in hell. Not winning the World Series. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hood too. Thank you, and I'll see you later.